Hi, it's Bill with Creative License, and thanks again for being a part of my little dog and pony show. I appreciate you coming in, and I appreciate all the questions that I get via email or Facebook or just when I'm talking to my friends. And um, I did talk to a guy the other day who's taken some performance uh, training, who's taken my workshop, and uh, it's one of the things, he asked me a question that I have covered in the workshop, so somewhere along the line he forgot, but it's an interesting question that I thought I would put out to you. He says, How, I've, been, I've been working on getting better, right? And I go do my thing, but how do I know if I'm getting better? How can I critique myself? How do I know if I'm having an impact? And uh, well, how, how do I know if I'm getting better? He really was talking about critique. He was talking about where am I supposed to get that? How am I supposed to know? I mean, I'm the only one who sees what I do. It's a, I get it. I understand. I mean, number one, I mean, a good critique is seen from outside of you. Not everybody can get someone that they trust to be able to look at their performance and give them a good, strong critique so that they get better, right? It is something that I know how to do, and several people have been around for a while. If you're in the performance business, if you know something about critique, you know how to help a person get better by giving them uh, notes, right? But not everybody can do that, and not everybody has that person. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas and how you can start critiquing yourself if you have to. That would be, that wouldn't be the, the way to go if you have someone you can trust to do that, okay? And you really want to find someone who understands, not just a, not just a friend, okay? Someone who's going to be hard. Anyway, here's some self-critique things you can do. And uh, some of it I learned from when I worked in radio. And some of it I learned while I was uh, training with uh, people with my acting career, okay? Um, simple. Number one, you want to record yourself while you perform. If you don't have a video uh, recorder, which you really should have if you're trying to re uh, critique the entire performance, but if you don't, at least uh, record the audio. First thing I did when I was starting in it, I was in radio, so we recorded the audio called an air check. So you can sit down with your program director or someone who can go over things, right? But let's say nowadays you can set up your phone and you can videotape yourself with everything that you do. Set it up in the corner of the room, videotape everything, videotape yourself, don't erase anything, and then you have it. Now, as soon as you get it back from your performance, the first thing you want to do is put it aside. Don't look at it, okay? You really don't want to be looking at that stuff right away. You need to let the performance sit. It's in the ether. There's nothing you can do about it. And you certainly don't want to watch it while you're working. It'll really mess with your head. So give it a couple of days, maybe a week. And then take out those tapes and I want you to play them. But I want you to play them and then while you're doing it, be doing something else. Kind of listen as if you aren't, as if you're a guest in the party. In other words, half the time people are hardly listening, right? You want it to be playing in the background. You don't want to take notes. Uh, you don't want to make comments, you just want to play it. You do that a couple of times. And then the next day, do it again, but this time sit down, watch it, and every time you see something that you think could be better, or you can see a moment where you think you could have adjusted, then write it down. Don't stop the tape, write it down, okay? Write it down, let the whole thing play through, and then go through and look at your notes. See if they made sense. See if you can, um, you can feel and or see that moment in your mind's eye without going back and listening to it. Because you can look at that and go, oh yeah, no, I remember that. I feel that. I, I probably could have made an adjustment there. Or even if it's just the note, what the heck was that? Right? Write down what you can think of. Don't have to be really good with the terminology. But you need to start getting used to noticing it when it happens. Right? So... If you do this regularly, you'll be able to make adjustments on the fly while you're actually doing the performance. But right now, you're trying to see you from the perspective of the audience. That's why you wait, and then you do it again, and then you wait, and you do it again. So you start to see it now from someone else's perspective. It's a little difficult to do. Now, the last time you do this, you sit down with your notes, you play it, and then each time you get to that moment, you stop it. You rewind it. You stop it. You look at your note, and you go, wow. And then stand up and maybe try to do it a different way. Each time you're seeing what you're doing from a different perspective. You're not doing it in front of an audience. You're not doing it in front of a coach. So you're not getting the most out of it, 
but what you are getting out of a self-critique is beginning to understand how you can see what you do from another perspective. And if you can't do that, then it's going to be difficult or impossible for you to begin to give self-critique. Do it enough times, start to notice it when it happens, and then you see the adjustments without looking at what you do and going, oh my gosh, he sucks. Oh my gosh, how'd you get out of this? That's why this little thing I just went through, it's very important if you're going to do it this way. That's like a way to do it. But the number one way I talked about at the beginning, find someone who's not seen you perform. Show them the tape. Let them critique it and let them give you some forced feedback that you can listen to and you can be open to. That's number one. The other, it helps you in a different way. I think you can see the difference, can't you? Tell me what you think. Write it down in the comments, and I'll see you next week on Creative License. Bye.